Hi everyone. Today I am going to a uh, topic where I will read the data from a API and write into a blob stories. So uh, I got a generic uh, API from Google which uh, doesn't have any ID password. So we can use this as input. If I format the data, it looks something like this where there, there are six sections like there are some generic uh, fields here and there are six objects inside a array. Okay, so we'll just read this data from this JSON and write to a blob storage. So I have a blo uh, storage account and a data factory. Let's go to the data factory. Okay, so here I will just uh, run a simple copy step to uh, read from the this API and write into a uh, blob storage. So this is the API. Okay, so let's go to first link service. So what does the link service means? Link service means we are just connecting uh, two different sources of data, either input or output or there. I created both the link service. I will delete one and then just show you uh, how to create a link service. So it's a simple one. We we'll just go here. Uh, we have REST. We can use REST or HTTP for APIs. Let's use REST for now. Continue. So this is REST uh, service. Base URL is this and authentication i don't have any id password for this api and we'll test connection for normal office purposes we'll have some authentication so we'll have to fill that up then create so i created a REST service similarly you will just create a uh, linked service for blob storage that should be easy let's publish it because this is final so then we'll go to a pipeline so pipeline will create a simple pipeline just a copy step in copy step we just need to set the source and sync so we can create the data set source data set and sync data set over here also by going here or while creating the pipeline also we can do that for source data set we will use the rest one again and uh, source api json link service is the one we created just two minutes back then if we preview data we can see the data then got done row source data set is uh, set up sync we will use uh, we will create a new one we will use the blob one continue we'll keep in json format so how we can put destination destination blob json so we'll use this link service and the container output this is output folder okay we'll uh, name the output folder name as um, output dot txt schema non okay so source and syncs are done we uh, don't need mapping because it's not a database or anything as of now we'll just debug this this should be good enough so here we will we can monitor the job here or by going to the monitor tab so let's monitor here it might take around one minute to process
in the meantime we can publish it to avoid deletion of the data deletion of the pipeline whatever we have created because if we by mistake close the browser all the changes whatever is not published will be gone is taking little more time okay succeed if we see here objects read one file rows written one so basically we haven't passed the json we just read whatever we read that single line we wrote in the uh, blob storage so here is the blob storage we'll go to the container output folder and this is the name we gave and uh, if we see this is the single line the same data here whatever data is here the same data came over here so single line came over here okay now i will show you another step if we need to parse this json and get like there are six objects here let's get six lines from this array okay so what we will do here is um, create another data set we can create from here create new data set which will be again blob okay continue we'll keep this is a csv so we'll basically make six lines of csv uh, continue then destination blob then csv this is just a naming convention first row okay blob storage uh, container let's put output We'll use a different name so that we can see both of them. Output underscore csv dot txt. Okay. First row as a header. Yes. For csv, we need a header. Without that, we cannot read the data. From import schema. Uh, okay this should be good okay this is the output file okay let's put none for now and okay destination blob okay we created that mm, source json will keep the same one let's go to the pipeline so the pipeline if you click here the sync is there we'll change this we'll change to csv and uh, copy behavior okay in the mapping so if we expand this okay we'll import schemas now now all those fields that they will come automatically like page this and this all of them will come automatically if you press on uh, import schemas but we want to do that only this array we are not uh, these are single fields we are thinking of uh, putting all these array elements in each row so we'll select here the array okay 
and uh, uh, map complex values then let's delete these single fields for now let's see this there are one two three four five five fields sorry i deleted the complete array import schemas again okay data is here one two three four five after this we can delete everything one two three four five pentagon value perfect that should be done collection reference so collect this is the collection reference and we have one two three four five fields to be there in the output data we'll go for debug and let's see how much time it is taking to run this time here if we refresh a new file will get generated if you see objects read one but rows written is six last time we had row is written also one okay because we have extracted that so if you see here we'll have another file and here see there are six different seven rows because one is the heading so this is how we can parse a json and uh, write so instead of blob storage i can directly write to a any database rdbms database also i can extract the data in a similar form, manner and put into a database that's all for now thanks if you have any com uh, feedback or any questions put into the comment box i'll reply to that thanks bye